kitchen today i'm gonna show you how i make olele i have different methods of making olele olele basically it's beans uh, black eye peas to be specific blended add some seafood to it and some other key ingredient is the beans and the palm oil so that's the red oil so for me this is my favorite method of making it is flavorful it's different from when you add the raw palm oil to the beans so i'm also gonna have the video on how to peel your beans i'm gonna have it in the comment section please go ahead and check it out and um, i have my palm oil in the pot just added some onions don't put too much onion and uh, my shrimp so i'm just gonna cook it like i'm cooking a sauce if you have some shrimp powder go ahead and add that i'm gonna add some salt i didn't put any garlic i don't like no garlic in my uh, olele so just cook it until the onions are completely translucent like you are cooking a steel uh no water um left just make sure you cook it until all the water is all cooked down and just set it aside and let it cool down then i'm gonna go ahead and just blend my beans as you can see in the red bowl that's the texture i want for the beans just add a little bit salt to it so now it's cooled down so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the sauce that i cooked this is super 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 delicious please try this and you're gonna thank me later this is my favorite method of making olele whenever i have time this is how i make it if i don't have enough time then i'll just add the raw palm oil but this is a must try please try it so i just added all the vegetables that i have i added bell pepper and uh, eggplant I added a lot of habanero pepper, just chopped it down. Sometimes I even see some people put mushrooms too, which I tried, which is so good. So just go ahead and mix everything, make sure everything is coated with the sauce. And at this point, test it to make sure that the salt level is good. If not, add a little bit more salt to it. As you can see, I didn't add any fish. I just added shrimp. But if you have some fish, go ahead and add. Sometimes I do add uh, mackerel. But today, I just wanted to put only shrimp. If you have, hab uh, not habanero, but if you have jalapeno peppers, go ahead and chop some and add it to it. It is so good with all of it too. So I just have all my foil papers lined up. I'm just gonna take a good amount of uh, the scoop of the olele mixture and just fold it like an envelope. So with this olele, sometimes I do steam it using just hot water, place it and just cover it. Sometimes I do use my rice cooker and steam it. But for me, my experience, I find that I really like it when I steam it in hot water don't put too much water just enough water for it not to cover the whole envelope of um, the olele so what I do is I just let it boil for 10 minutes sometimes I do go and turn it around for another five minutes but the whole thing took me only 12 minutes to steam so you're gonna see right now I'm opening it you're gonna see how beautiful it looks and it is so 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 delicious um i just love olele i just love olele look how beautiful it is if you watch this far please go ahead and subscribe to the channel share the videos and just comment below let me know what you think 
Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here. Happy New Year to you and your family. I hope and pray 2022 is going to be an awesome year for all of us. Once again, Happy New Year.